Hi Tappers! Today's video contains possibly triggering material and graphic content on the 2010 Haitian earthquake. In 2010, a horrible natural disaster struck Haiti. An earthquake laid waste to the below code standard buildings and a million people were affected. Thousands and thousands died. Hundreds of thousands more were wounded, homeless, and without support or aid, as hospitals were also destroyed, and those attempting aid were struggling to breach through the piles of rubble and coordinate amongst the chaos. Survivors waited days to be dug out, many by hand, as the machinery needed simply wasn't there. A woman working at the UN recounted this. Geologists expect another big earthquake soon, but when? The dead are still lying in the streets. As people clear out more rubble, they come across broken bodies crammed into crevices, frozen in poses of struggle and flight. How many died? Does anyone really know? And the survivors, where will they live? One of these survivors was Emily. Emily was eight. She was with her mom when the earthquake hit, and within seconds, they were buried under the structure that moments before was around them. She survived. Her mother did not. For two days, little Emily was trapped and immobilized in the rubble with her mother's body. Once rescued, she was heavily dissociated. When a team of EFT volunteers came across Emily two years later, she had not spoken a single word since the earthquake. She was functional, but she didn't socialize, laugh, or play. She was entirely shut down. Emily was handed a tappy bear and guided on how to use it. Emily began tapping. Then Emily began to speak. She told the tappy bear how very sad she was. Two days later, she was laughing, talking, and playing with the other kids like any other 10-year-old. She received what she needed to bring herself back from the depths of that kind of despair with this. We could place any one of us in Emily's story and know that we would likewise be devastated. I tell this story to emphasize that this tool is not only for kid stuff. Over the next few videos, I'm going to teach you how to make your own tappy bear, as well as other creative tools, and share with you how this tool is potent and useful for all people. I made this one thinking it would be for my daughter. I soon found a lot of comfort and progress in using it myself, and it was a great way to lead by example. She pays attention when I use it. She's even brought it to me a few times. We've built a foundation of support for each other by passing around Tappy Bear. All trauma feels overwhelming, and I'm very excited to show you a very gentle and easy way of release. I'll see you soon.